it, but hey, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we have the biggest Taylor Swift fan in the house, me. And then we also have the second Taylor, biggest Taylor Swift fan, Ari. I think Brett has that confused. All right, we're gonna fight it out. We're gonna find out uh, who who is the biggest. <laughs> In the comments, tell us who you think is your favorite. All right, so um, we're doing Hidden Gems off of, uh, I think, a classic album. All right, so I want you to tell us why you chose this. White Horse is just one of those songs that it's so, it's it's genuinely gut-wrenching. What's it about? Oh, God, it's that teenage angst. That that same like it, this album is so hard to describe and also explain what these songs are about because again, Taylor's never really sat down and been like, this is exactly what this is a song is about. This is what I want you to feel. It's always been up for interpretation. Is White uh, Horse? Isn't it like uh, the like the the prince comes on his white horse like to save you, or am I thinking of Love Story? So it it's like this song is really about fall like it's it talks about falling in love in those fairy tales. So you got that part right, and like you're gonna have like a like that happily ever after with this person. But then it also go it it like it's like you never wait wait. How do I explain this? I yeah, like we'd have to I, start you're kind of it. leaving us at a cliffhanger. Do you want to just say but and then just let the song uh, represent itself? No, I think you just, she doesn't, she realizes that it's not, it's not going to be that fairy tale. That, that that particular relationship or life? Oh, both. I think both. Oh. I'm 40. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's I am one of those but, no. like those love stories that it's it's not going to be a fairy tale, is it? Like it's it's not going to be what I thought it was. I don't even know what love is, and I've been married. Or like one of those maybe real realizations where wow, this isn't a fairy tale. This is real life. I like our podcast. Um. Okay. Um. So let's let's get into it. I'm excited. Wait, is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Say you're sorry that face of an angel comes out just I'm sorry, Ari, but I just feel like this Taylor's version of White Horse is karaoke. She's not, no. she's not into it. She doesn't, she's, I don't feel it. I don't feel like she's feeling these emotions right now. Keep listening. You're right. She is huge at starting slow and then, okay, my bad. Don't judge until the end. As I paced back and forth all this time, cause I honestly believed in you. Holding on the day's drag on, stupid girl. I should have known, I should have known that I'm not a princess. This ain't a fairy tale. I'm not the one you'll sweep off her feet. For your white horse to come around. Wait, wait. Can you can you tell me those lyrics one more time? It's too late for you and your white now horse to come around. Now it's too late for your white horse to come around. To save me? No, it just... Isn't the white horse the prince to save her? Take her away to the perfect ending? She's like... 
No, she's just like waiting for her prince to not necessarily come and save her, just to show up for her. Yeah, but it's too late for you and your white horse to come around. Exactly. Like I'm done. I'm done with this. This isn't for me. She's the one that's saying, okay. So she's the one that's saying, no, 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 no. Like you've screwed me over, and like you, you just it's too late. Like. Yeah, I mean, she, in the in the first in the second verse of this song, she says, "Are not the verse she, in in a couple lines down in the chorus?" She says, "I'm not the one you'll sweep off her feet." We're gonna we're like, gonna have it. Well, this we're is gonna have me and you are up. over. This is no longer. Like I know that this isn't a fairy tale anymore. Like this is happening in real time in real life. I think that might be open up. Uh, that might be open to yeah, uh, open for interpretation. And I think people should put in the comments what they think. But uh, this this we'll make this more about the actual music, and then we'll do like a, a story lyric breakdown on this the, the, on all these songs uh, another day too. Like me and Ari are like, we we could probably sit and analyze and enjoy taylor swift for like she's four basically days realizing that like all of this stuff that i fantasized about this love story isn't real it isn't real i have she like, telling that it's know, too late she's essentially saying that i can no longer be that delusional young girl anymore it's too late for me now it's too late to be that princess so you in know, my own she's head, now realizing that late. He's not gonna choose her in the end. All right, let's let's uh let's let's do this second verse and then uh see what we think. Her voice sounds uh enchanted. That's not a word. Angelic? En- I-, I was trying to enchanting say angelic. Enchanting is a word. En- enchanting? Really? It's a beautiful enchanting? word. Enchanting? Yes. Wait, enchanting. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And I was saying angelic at the same time. Maybe I was naive, got lost in your eyes, and never really had a chance. If you agree with me that, that you feel like, I don't know, let me know what you think about the whole Taylor's version thing. I think that's that's like a discussion me and you are going to have like for an hour where we just sit down and just uh, hammer it out. But I need to I need to know all of this about Taylor's version before I can start uh, being a jerk, right? For sure. Okay. Well, my mistake, I didn't know to be in love. You had to fight to have the upper hand. I had so many dreams about you and me. Happy endings. But now I know that I'm not a princess. This ain't a fairy tale. I was a dreamer before you and you let me down. Okay. I get I get what you're saying now. Now it's too late for you and your white horse to come around. And there you are on your
Um, unpopular opinion. Um, so my the song that I chose, uh, what was it? You're not sorry. You're not sorry is like so much better than white horse. You disagree? I don't think there's comparing these songs. They're such very they're all very different stories. And White Horse to me, it's like in the beginning, she's telling herself, you know, she's trying to get out of that delusion that, you know, this ain't a fairy tale. This is, you know, real life. And then after the bridge, she's essentially telling him, I'm not your princess. This isn't our fairy tale. And then, then she goes, I'm going to actually find someone who might actually treat me well. I don't hear the hurt in her, in her, especially like at the end where like I, I usually, where she says, sorry, like I didn't hear the hurt like I heard in the first version. No, I, this. And don't be mad at me. Like that. that's what's, I, and I'm not doing it as a purpose. Well, like and, this, and ta- gonna make it But Taylor's version of this song was also. To me, she didn't. This story didn't make sense in the way she sang it in the first version. Like this is really? exactly what you need. There was no it shift in emotion after the bridge. It was just a bridge and then the chorus again. I'm Here, gonna, I I'm, really felt that change. And I can't wait that, for like, us to do our our little. But you uh, know what? Middle finger to you. Me. I'm no 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 to like you know. In this song, she's like, (laughs) that was great. Okay, I'm like, what? She's like, middle (laughs) finger to you. I'm gonna go on and be bigger and better. I'm gonna find someone who's gonna actually love me the way I want to be loved. And it's too late for you to come around with your white horse, and you know, you're not gonna make me feel small ever again. So this is a very popular song. Um, I mean, this is the Taylor's version. It's already up to like 51 million views. There's a lot of fans. So there's going to be a lot of uh, hopefully people that uh, I really want to hear from when it comes to this. Like, what does anyone does any of the do you think there'll be any Swifties that agree with me? No. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay, I'll bet you. Okay, forget it. We don't need to bet. But um, Taylor's version is superior, and that's how. Okay, she, all I'm gonna you're say. not sorry. I agree. Taylor's version was fine. It was great. Um, I just didn't like the Taylor's version of uh, of White Horse. Um, but you said what? What you said that there's different emotions. We're gonna contrast those emotions. I might be talking out my. You know, maybe I don't remember the things correctly. So I, I feel like maybe I'm not ready to talk about it until I actually analyze it back and forth. All right, so we're going to be back uh, with my uh, uh, second, what's it called? Um, I don't even remember what my thing was. Do you? Well, we're going to find out what my what my next thing was, and we're going to come back, and uh, or maybe why, why don't you go to your uh, second thing, and then I'll, I'll remember it. Uh, what was your second thing? Um. You know what? Why don't we go with a classic and do Love Story? Everybody knows that song. Let's do Love Story. Um, okay, so this is okay. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's start. The, let's start the next video. I right, um. So you know, if you want to subscribe and stuff, that would be cool. If you don't, whatever, it's all good. But uh, if you want us to keep doing this, uh, like total Taylor breakdown, like I'm not doing this for like to be a popular guy. I'm doing this because I actually love Taylor Swift and I miss Taylor Swift. And it's so nice to talk about someone that you love with with someone who also loves with. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> what that meant. <laughs>